Hey guys, my name is Jack. Welcome to my channel. I'm playing some Ark Survival Evolved on an Aberration server, and I'm going to show you the best and easiest way to get a Drake Egg. Now, this is mainly for your first Drake Egg because uh, once you already have a Drake, it's pretty easy to get Drake Eggs. You can just fly down there on your Drake. But for your first one, there's a couple ways you can do it. You can either do it on foot, the way I'm going to show you, or you can take a dino. Um, I think the dino way is probably uh, an okay way to do it. But of course, you need some high level stuff. You need to be able to make sure they don't take radiation poisoning. And uh, so there's a little bit more work that goes into it with the dinos. Whereas this is something you can do actually fairly early game. So let me show you what I've got, guys. So everything I have is primitive. I have, if you notice, I have a primitive hazard suit. I have a uh, glider suit skin I'm going to put on. And I have 15 climbing picks. Okay. Um, I also have a couple stacks of meat. And I've got a couple of water jars. Um, you, This is basically broken into two phases. The first part is flying over there. So you need to be fairly proficient in in using the wingsuit and once you get there you need to be fairly proficient in climbing out um, mainly because if you're not proficient in it if you're not if you can't do it fairly quickly you're gonna run out of climbing picks and you're gonna um, and that's really gonna suck to leave an egg down there because you you die because you can't get out so that's what I got everything's primitive okay guys 15 primitive climbing picks. You could probably even bring a few more, but I'm doing it with 15. You need to make sure you have food and water, and that's it, guys. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, guys, so... As I said, the first part, the first challenging part is being able to fly over there. So from where I am in the blue, I'm just going to take off from here. So yeah, you need to be able to uh, control yourself over there because you're going to have one big long fly. As I said, there are two portions to this. There's the flying over and then there's a major dive down. And then the second part is being able to climb out, which is why obviously you have all those climbing picks. So you need to be able to understand how to use the shift key when you're flying. And, um, and uh, when you're on your way out, you need to make sure that you're using your, your climbing efficiently so you don't go through too many picks. Like I said, you could bring extra and it's always, it's definitely not a bad idea. But after doing this myself um, successfully several times and doing it a dozen or so times, I think 15 is about the right number for me. Okay, so guys, you dive down as I'm showing you here and there's this Giga Skull. You basically go right by that Giga Skull to the left side of it. If it was facing forward, you want to be on the left side of it. You can circle here a lot of times if you need to. I really only do it once. No, so you can see right there, there was a Giga, a Giga, a, there was a Drake already right above me. Uh, more on the ceiling there. So this first, the, the key to doing this, guys, is going all the way to the back of this cave. There's a lot more Drakes I've noticed at the front of the cave. There's another, there's a lot more dr Drakes at the front. But if you come to the back, it's easier and you just want to give them a wide berth so that you don't aggro them okay so this is changing my plans up a bit guys normally i land on that rock i'll show you the rock i land on it's that one right there but there was a drake right below it so right here it's kind of dangerous so you want to be quick you basically just take off and you're gonna and you're gonna go for the first safe looking egg you can find there was a drake to my left there's a nest right there so i'm gonna Drop down a 20. Okay, that sucks, but that's okay. I'll take it. it. Remember, this is for the first Drake. 
Oh, man, there's a couple real close. So this one could be rough. Okay, so you're going to grab it, and you are going to run and fly immediately. I've got Drake's after me. You can hear him. And you're going to hear him whizzing by you. Like right there. And so what you want to do is you want to be able to... Oops. Okay, you want to be able to make this flight in one go. But you need to be able to, you know, weave left and right as they're coming out at you. Okay, so this isn't my best flight. I'll be totally honest with you. You want to actually go to the location I'm going to in one attempt, in one fly. Because it, it's your safest when you're flying. Okay, so I'm just going to work my way through here. I'm staying to the left. I'm avoiding that water because that water is toxic. And I'm going to get over this little mountain. But what I may... Oh, still got a Drake after me. And that sounds like Nameless. So the way you're going to do this, guys, my trick, the trick for the whole thing is, number one, getting into the back of that cave. And then from here, whoop. Then from here, you run over here and get on this metal structure. This metal structure is your key because you can climb up it. Okay, there's still drakes around me. So this metal structure is the key because there aren't a lot. I haven't seen drakes over here. The only time I've seen drakes over here is when, say, for instance, I die getting out and there's one still over here. But you are going to ride this metal structure all the way to the top. Well, yeah, pretty much all the way to the top. Okay, so now that we're into the second part of this, you need to be able to do this uh, this climbing pretty quickly um, without without wasting too much time or energy because you only have so many of those picks to go through. To be honest with you, I kind of think this is actually the hardest part. So what you need to do is you're constantly rotating picks in and out. So you'll find a resting spot. You'll have a bite. You might have to have two or three bites of meat. Or if you have better food, that works too. And then you're going to switch to a new fresh set of climbing picks. And basically you're going to work your way up as far as you can to a resting point. And then you're going to rest, get your stamina back, eat if you need to. See, sometimes this climbing is still kind of... Um, iffy like right here i just want to get on that ledge but it won't let me so sometimes you can just let's see yeah i don't know why it's blocking it come on all right there we go that works i just put my climbing picks away and i fell and i was safe i knew i was safe to fall so that's that's the thing guys you want to make sure you have plenty of life on your climbing picks okay so I'm starting with a fresh one, and basically this is how it works. I mean, this is really how it works in real life climbing too, if you've ever climbed in real real life. Uh, you climb from one point to the next. You don't want to... Um, I would rather personally not, not um, rest while I'm on the side of this metal structure. I'd rather rest when I'm standing. Get a bite to eat. You're safer. There we go. So it's just like a slow, methodical thing. You don't want to be rushed. You want to be patient. There's a couple points like this one where you can't really tell where your where your uh, next resting point is. So you just have to make sure you have a fresh set of picks on you. And you just don't make any wasted movements. One ledge to the next, guys. One ledge to the next. And this is this is seriously the the hardest part in my opinion. Like you get once you get an egg and you can get out of that wyvern canyon, you just have to be smart. Like in most of it's just being smart with your picks. So um, I think I'll speed some of this up. We'll get to the point where I'm heading back home because this is basically what it is. Um, for quite a while i think 
usually the climbing part might take 20 or 30 minutes even. So you just need to be smart about how you do it. Um, one other thing to mention is that if you have an earthquake while you're climbing, you want to not move. Like don't even try climbing because if you do, you're going to fall. Okay, so here's a point. I think I may have gone... I think I may have gone um, too high and you do want to make sure that you kind of stick to the outside of the structure so that you don't get stuck on the inside there we go okay so stick to the outside you can just go right up and you just want to get up as high as possible to the point where you can f basically fly out of this pink radiation zone and you can fly or use your wingsuit wingsuit to get home. Sometimes this climbing is a little buggy, so I would definitely recommend you practice it a little bit so you're comfortable before you head into the Drake cavern. Otherwise, it's going to be a waste. And there's some points that are just kind of weird. But guys, I'm going to speed it up here because it's it's pretty repetitive. A lot of the same stuff with me, me climbing. And I will show you how I get out of here, okay? Stay tuned.
All right, guys, so that is going to end it. It's pretty self-explanatory from here. Just got to make it back to my base, which is pretty easy once you're out of that, uh, out of the red zone there. Um, so just to review everything that I did, you fly in, you dive down, and when you get into the Drake ca Canyon, you go all the way to the back. As soon as you get to the back, you stop on that cliff or even that rock. And at that point, all you have to do is uh, grab the first egg you see and dive back. And when you dive back, you're going to stay to the left side coming out of the Drake Canyon. And you're going to climb up that metal structure. Uh, for some reason, going all the way to the back really works well. I think there's less drakes at the back of the canyon. So I think you stand a better chance of being able to grab an egg and get out as quickly as possible. After that, the hard part is is managing your climbing picks and making sure you're efficient and you don't do anything uh, anything wrong. Basically, just be patient and be smart. So, guys, that is going to end it. If this episode was helpful, please uh, leave a thumbs up. And if you enjoy the content, subscribe to the channel. We've got more episodes just like this one. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye bye.